Hi there, I'm Chris and I cover customer care at Time Navi. Today I'm going to be running you through our Google Calendar add-on that lets you track your time, calculate your time and export that data to Google Sheets. I hope this is both informative and useful for you. See you in a second. Be strong. Be strong. So once you've downloaded the add-on, you can find it by going to your Google Calendar and then clicking on this little button which says Show Side Panel. There, you should be able to see the Time Navi button which will open it up for you. The add-on will open up onto the welcome page where it will ask your current role in life. This could be self-employed, student, employees, full-time parents or any other thing. This helps the add-on suit your needs. I'll pick self-employed. The add-on will then move to the journey page. All of these four features are available in the add-on. For whichever journey you choose, the add-on will give you a tutorial of that activity. This is to tailor the add-on to your needs as quickly as possible. I'm going to choose to analyze my time, but I can track my income or export my calendar events to Sheets later. From here, the add-on will ask me to label my events either according to their color or to their name. It comes up with a few suggestions straight away, such as Peacock, which is my lunch times, Lavender, which is my meetings, or Tangerine, which is when I'm dedicated to writing. I'm going to track Lavender, as these are my meetings, as I have found that I get paid for meetings with clients, but I don't want them to take up too much of my time. Just a note, if you don't find the colour or word you want, you can create a custom category at the bottom. With words, if you want to track more than one, you can separate them by a comma. Great, once I've reached the next step, I can name the activity. I'll name this activity Meetings. Then click Go to Next Step. This will take you to the optional step of adding a goal. You can add at least or at most the amount of time you want to spend in an activity. I'm going to say a maximum of eight hours on my activity of Meetings and then save the goal. The add-on will show me my current week as an automatic time frame, but I want to see my last week. To do that, I will add a time frame for last week at the bottom of the page. Once you click on add time frame, you'll get a range of suggested time frames that range from last seven days to last month. You can also create your own custom time frame at the bottom. I'm going to use last week. Now I can see that I spent six hours on meetings last week. Let me just check that's right. One, two, three, four, five, and six. I currently don't have a goal for last week's meetings as I am analyzing rather than planning my time. However, I can edit the activity by clicking on it. Here I can add a goal, edit the activity, delete the time frame. this one is last week's, and see a summary of the events that are counted in the meetings category at the bottom with the distribution. I'm also going to create a goal for this week as well so that you can see what a completed goal looks like at the end of the week. I want to spend a maximum of eight hours on meetings this week and now I can see that I actually achieved my goal of eight hours in meetings. I spent only six um, out of the eight hours this week. Another great feature of the Time Navi add-on is that I can assign values to these activities if I want to see how much I need to invoice a client or if I want to reject how much money I should be earning in the future. Let's say that each hour of my time in meetings is worth £7.50. I can save that activity once I've included the pounds and the add-on will tell me how much money I have earned from that activity. I can now bill clients. I can also see into the future how much money I should be earning or that is planned. The great thing about the add-on is you can export all this data you have collected in yourself to Sheets. Just go to track time, click export to Sheets, click the time frame, and an Excel document will be created from your calendar events, including your tracked and untracked activities as well. As you can see, the add-on has created a breakdown of my tracked activities this last week. I can also filter the activities that I have. So if I want to see all the meetings with a certain client or pick out a certain type of event, I just have to use the filter option on Sheets. As you can see, my pie chart also automatically updates as well. 
Well, that's it for the moment. Thank you so much for watching this demo video and I encourage you to download the add-on to track, measure and reprioritize your time. All the best from the Time Navi team. Thanks. You're strong. You're strong. Oh, 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 oh,